Hey oh, it's Dale Fuhr here from Move Therapies in sunny, snowy <laughs> Soyuz, British Columbia, Canada. And I'm just on here today to give some tips on shoveling. Um, we are movement specialists and shoveling is uh, obviously a movement activity. And I was just thinking about it while I was shoveling this morning. And here are some tips that uh, you can just make your shoveling experience better. So one of the things with shoveling, uh, especially for in, in a Soyuz, is that it doesn't happen very often so when it does happen we want to go out there and go gangbusters on it even though it's been like a year or so or five years or whatever it is since you shoveled last and we got a lot of snow last uh, the last couple of days so that can lead to some pretty serious injuries if you go gangbusters on it so the theme of this whole video and actually the theme of our clinic in some ways is how can you plan to do things in a way that's not going to hurt yourself so how can you plan to do things in a way that you're going to wake up tomorrow and hopefully not feel like you've been run over by a truck so one of the things that i've done in the when i was shoveling this morning uh, i've actually taken a lot of rests so uh, especially when i was walking back and forth or whatever i was taking my time walking back to get the next shovel load and then i actually set my watch sort of about, about 15 minutes so then I would just sit for like two or three minutes, just rest a little bit and just make sure that I'm taking care of myself and knowing what I'm feeling, etc. And I'm, I know oh, my back is feeling a little bit sore or whatever, but it's giving me a time to just take a break. And again, it's going to add maybe if I took, I think in this, I took about three or four rests. So I added on another like 15 minutes to doing the, the work. but. That ends up being that I'm not going to wake up tomorrow with uh, <laughs> sciatic or something crazy, you know, like back pain or something. Uh, so that's uh, tip number one. Tip number two, if you can get the right equipment, um, I went and picked up a shovel this morning. Um, it has a nice little uh, doohickey on the end here that you can push up against your belly. So as you're pushing the snow, you can actually rest it against your stomach and then push. So then it's not your shoulders doing the work. As well, it has that nice little arch in the, uh, in the handle, and that makes it a lot easier when you're lifting the snow, etc. Um, so that's tip number two. And then tip number three is really, how can you break this job up into, uh, so that you're not going to kill yourself? And that does require some planning. So uh, really, it's turning off your lizard brain, or my lizard brain this morning really wanted to get the job done quickly. And I had to really sort of plan it in advance, spend like one or two minutes planning it, and basically say, hey, I'm not gonna go gangbusters on this job. I'm not gonna go crazy on it. I'm gonna go inside, have some breakfast or whatever, have a drink of water, take a rest, sit down for three minutes, then come back to the job, and then see how I'm feeling, and then in 15 minutes again, do, it, do some more. You know, if this job takes me the whole day, doesn't matter. You know, the, the, the whole <laughs> key to life I'm finding, especially I'm 46 now, um, is how can I not hurt myself? <laughs> Which sounds ridiculously uh, simple or whatever, but if I went gangbusters on this and then woke up tomorrow and was in pain, then um, that's not good. You know, no one else hurt me except myself. So uh, I'm hoping the way that I've done it today, I'll wake up tomorrow and feel actually really good. And the other thing, if you do hurt yourself, if you, <laughs> if you have gone gangbusters, we can help you with that um, because there is a lot of things that I'm doing with my pelvis and using my back more, you know, more uh, effectively. So then it makes the job of, of shoveling much, much easier. Um, one of the big things I've done too while I was shoveling was just alternating from one side to the other. So I was lifting with my right side for a little bit and then I would switch over and lift with my left side for a little bit always within comfort you know that's probably the key thing how can you do things within comfort make it easy for yourself you know there's no rush on this job as much as i want to get it done i don't have to get it done in 10 minutes you know if it takes me an extra hour to get the shoveling done then that's what it is if that's what it takes to not hurt myself then that's what i will do <laughs> anyways hope you're having a great day my job is almost done here and uh yeah it's Dale, it's Dale Fuhr again from Move Therapies in Soyuz, British Columbia, Canada. Hope you're having a great day. Bye.